crypto, the notion that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is quitting, has swept Twitter. John Deaton, an attorney who is in favor of excerpt, has responded an important court judgment was issued in July and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has taken a major step forward by filing an appeal. The SEC's legal battle with Ripple Labs resulted in this historic judgment, which held that the sale of excerpt to ordinary investors did not constitute the offering of a security. This new information was sent to the sitting judge, and Lessa Torres, in a letter just yesterday. Apparently, the sex believes that the significance of her ruling requires a further review by an appeal court. According to the sex submission, interlocutory review is needed here. The intra-district gap that has already emerged shows that these two problems concern controlling matters of law on which there is significant room for differences of opinion. The sex wants to have the court's ruling certified that the defendants' programmatic offers and sales of extra two purchasers on crypto asset trading platforms and Ripple's other distributions and compensation for labor and services did not entail the offer or sale of securities under the federal securities law. The Honorable Judge Annalisa had laid out her plans in great detail behind the walls of the U.S. Southern District Court. As part of these preparations, a trial was set aside specifically for investigating novel concerns that had not been addressed in the preceding arguments for summary judgment. The second quarter of 2024 has been tentatively chosen as the time frame for this study. The SEX has provided a detailed schedule in its official filing that will be used to guide it through the complex proceedings. A week after the submission of the aforementioned letter, on August 16, 2023, Ripple will have to respond. The next stages, which the SEC says should be carefully orchestrated, will be as follows. The 18th of August will see the filing of an opening brief explaining the rationale for the appeal. As a result, Ripple will need to come up with a response in the next two weeks. If the court approves of this well-choreographed legal pass to Troy, the SEC, which is at the head of this legal dance, will respond in kind within a week. Crucially, the scope of the U.S. SEC's appeal has been clearly defined. The agency's challenge to exercise designation as a security is narrower and more sophisticated than the larger objection that has been raised thus far. In particular, the government is appealing the ramifications of the token's programmatic and individual sales, but not the larger categorization judgment. Since the SEC does not yet have the right to appeal, it is requesting leave to initiate a interlocutory appeal. Next week, Ripple will submit a response to the court. The Bank of England and the UK Treasury issued a consultation document yesterday on the digital pound, a central bank digital currency, CBT for the United Kingdom. In its 116-page study, the Bank of England lays out the framework for the CBC and the rationale for contemplating its introduction. The Bank of England, BOE, looks at Ripple's interledger protocol for synchronous payment settlement in a recent paper. The Bank of England's new action exemplifies the growing interest of central banks in blockchain. The article is titled Ripple, Exploring the Synchronized Settlement of Payments Using the Interledger Protocol. The Ripple Protocol, which allows for synchronized settlement across various ledgers, has caught the attention of the BOE because of the potential influence it may have on the international payments market. The protocol might be used to connect different types of payment networks, such as those used by banks and digital assets. The major objective of the protocol is to provide a reliable and efficient payment system. The effects of integrating Ripple's protocol with Archie's systems at the Bank of England are discussed in the article. With the advent of integrated payment systems, business deals may be finalized much more quickly and efficiently than before. Earlier this year, the Bank of England and the Treasury undertook a public consultation to get a better understanding of the potential applications of CBC namely the digital pound, in British society. In the realm of finance, CBC is making rapid strides. The European Union's authorities are now investigating the matter of the digital euro. The XRP coin was created to provide cheaper, more decentralized transaction processing outside of traditional banking systems and centralized data repositories. Archer pre-transfers provide advantages for international transactions because to its trustlessness, speed, and low cost. The coin, which debuted in 2012, is working toward one of the industry's largest ambitions. The XRP ledger, the software that allows for the usage of XRP, 
has advocates who have proposed a new way to run blockchains that they say is more suited for transactions. For the Bitcoin blockchain, anybody may contribute processing power, verify transactions, and protect the underlying software. When it comes to network security and transaction validation, however, the XRP ledger places restrictions on user participation. The symbols Ripple and XRP appear interchangeably in certain writings. Ripple is a for-profit corporation that promotes and supports XRP, the software that underlies it, the XRP ledger, and a number of other efforts with an emphasis on transactions. Archer is a cryptocurrency, ISRP is a cryptocurrency. However, the business is insistent that these are two different things. One year after the XRP ledger project's inception, in September 2012, Ripple was created under the moniker OpenCoin. Ripple Labs changed its name from OpenCoin to Ripple in 2015. The XRP ledger was once known as the Ripple Open Payment System and the Ripple Consensus Ledger before eventually settling on its current name. In recent news, cryptocurrency attorney John Deaton has spoken out about his predictions for XRP's future value. Bitcoin, BCC, is the biggest cryptocurrency by market value and Deaton thinks XRP's prospects of reaching its price all-time high of $3.84 cents rely on Dixit. However, XRP has yet to cross $1. Judge Annalisa Torres' recent finding that XRP is not a security has not helped the cryptocurrency break the $1 barrier. Judge Torres's decision was highly anticipated by many in the XRP system, and the result was a large price increase for XRP. However, against widely held beliefs, the value of the digital currency did not skyrocket after the judgment. John Deaton, who is acting on behalf of XRP investors, had lofty goals for the token. Deaton recently addressed concerns that the cryptocurrency market has seen only modest price increases so far this year in a tweet. Some holders, he said, are disappointed because their expectations were not reached. Even with the verdict in its favor, the pro XRP attorney predicted that XRP wouldn't set a new record high since, like all other cryptocurrencies, it gets its power from Bitcoin BCE. Still, he had expected the price to surge above the $1 barrier, which likewise never happened. Expectations are key, John Deaton tweeted. When asked about my predictions for the price of XRP, I responded that I didn't think it would reach an AF, even after a favorable judgment, although I did anticipate it to break $1 honestly unless we were in a complete bull market headed by Bitcoin. But until Bitcoin does, I won't get my hopes up that anything else will breach its AF to all the doubters. Facts are facts, and you can't argue with them. The value of XRP increased by almost 70 after the verdict was announced yet it still couldn't break the $0.84 cents barrier. This highlights the need of tempering expectations and remembering the volatile nature of the digital currency ecosystem. Deaton continues to have some tempered optimism about the future of Exure. While he recognizes that breaking the $3.84 cents is set over six years ago is very implausible, he is certain that he can break the $1 barrier. However, according to Deaton, this is contingent on the price of Bitcoin, but cetera, retesting its all-time high. He does not anticipate major positive momentum in the price of XRP until such a breakthrough happens. According to CoinMarketsCap, the current price of XRP is $6,337, down 10 a from a month ago. Investors keep an eye on XRP's price movement to see how Bitcoin ADC could affect the cryptocurrency's overall value.